Katie Gakes. So, um, first off, thing, spoiler warning for film, um, Danish Girl, that I am reviewing today. Spoiler warning <laughs> for that. If you haven't watched that, or if you are currently avoiding spoilers for that film, um, I don't know why you would be avoiding spoilers for it if you've already watched it, but anyway. Um, don't, don't watch this. Wait until your view is counted as a view, and then leave. Um, because I'm thirsty for views, but I don't want to spoil anything for you. So, film review. Um, I went to go see The Danish Girl at the cinema um, on Tuesday. It is currently Thursday. That's right. Um, I had to think then a minute, like, did I get those days right? I don't know how days work. Um, yeah, the reason it took so long for me to film with you is because I procrastinate. No reason more important than that just the fact that I'm a piece of trash and I can never be bothered to film. So I've decided to film a review because it was amazing and I need to talk about it with um, someone <laughs> um, and I have no friends. Um, so I've but actually been thinking about like starting maybe like a review service whenever I go to see a film I would review it but I don't know whether I'd be that interesting or whatever or whether anyone would want to listen to me talk about films. Um, first off, initial thought of the film, when I heard that it was coming out, um, I was like, this could be problematic. <laughs> I was like, it depends how they're going to make it. I was scared that it was going to be problematic, to be honest. Um, like, I, I, I just didn't want them to mess it up. I was excited because representation. I know, and like, as a genderqueer person, I'm like, yes, we need representation in the media like this. I almost spilt my latte. Um, hmm, this is awkward. I was like, yes, we need the representation. This is good. But then I was like, they could mess this up so bad. Like, and I was like, because like, there's like a cis guy playing it. And I was hmm, I, I don't know whether it's, it's going to be problematic or not. Nah. So I was like, I'll go see it, but like, I wouldn't get too excited about the representation because it could be complete trash. Um, but then it was actually amazing. Like, it was really like, it wasn't like taking the mick out of it. And it was really like delicate about it. It was really like, just a beautiful film in general. I mean, similar hmm, talk, Jesse. Jesse, use your mouth to say words. Thank you. From like a cinematography point of view, it was like incredibly beautiful. Like every shot, I was just like, yes, yes, some good cinematography. I cannot say cinematography. Cinematography, thank you. Whenever I try to pronounce a word, I get really posh. I loved all the colours, like in the rooms, like where there was just paintings everywhere, and like you could see like all of like the brush strokes and like. It was just so well filmed, it's so good at the cinema. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you go see it quick where you can see it in the cinema. Cause yes, like it's just beautiful, beautifully filmed with beautiful people in it, looking beautiful in beautiful outfits with beautiful settings. And it's just so beautiful, like as like a creation, the film is just like, like that. <laughs> What am I doing? I've had coffee. That's what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, that's a thing. Beautiful film. I cried. <laughs> yes, honestly, let me actually tell you about how much I cried. Cause I don't know why I cried. I mean, I was the only why I cried because it's like a tragic story. But I was sobbing, like swear down. I was like weeping. Like, there was actually, like, not even, like, you know, when usually you're watching a film, there's, like, a bit of a tale. Like, I actually almost made a noise. It was so intense. But I have a cis friend. <laughs> I sound like such trash when I say that, don't I? Like, yes, I, I hang out with cis people. Like, <laughs> I don't yeah. So, yeah. I have a friend who, like, isn't transgender, isn't genderqueer, and she went to see it, and she said she didn't cry. She said she felt sad on the inside, but she didn't cry. And I was like, is this me crying because I can relate to it more? Or am I just an emotional wreck? <laughs> like, 
if, I don't know. Like, is she just a more stable person than me? Or can I relate more? I don't know. It's, it's a bit of both, probably. Because, you know, I can relate to parts of the film. But also, like, I, I am just an emotional wreck on the inside, to be honest. <laughs> Um, yeah, the bits that I cried at the most, this is this is the part of the video where there's spoilers. So, you know, your views come in now, but if you haven't seen it, you, you gotta go. Okay, thanks. Um, parts of the film is where the I cried was when she was standing in front of the mirror naked and just looking at her body. I, like, knew exactly what was going through her head at that point, and I was like, oh my god, like, yes, girl, relate. <laughs> I, that bit I was just like god the emotions so many emotions I mean like I almost cried happy tears when like she was like standing like sitting on the I, I'm not explaining parts of films very well I need like scene numbers or something don't I are they numbers that listen to think of a scene band Jesse quickly you can make a joke but you're too slow blood on the dance floor it, it was too slow, like way too slow. Nobody got it because you were too slow, Jesse. The bit where she was sitting on the stool with like the shoes on uh, and the ballet dress, like right near the beginning where she was being painted, um, I was almost sobbing happy tears at that just because of like how like pretty and happy she looked. I was just like, yes, queen. Um. And, but the bit that I cried like the mostest, mostest at, that grammar, right there. The bit that I was actually like making noises at was the bit where she was walking through a park and she was, got, how do I describe the outfit she was wearing? Like a suit, kind of like, but it was like an effeminate suit, you get me? <laughs> yeah, you know, like the big trousers. <laughs> and she was walking through the park and then like two guys were following her and like yelling like abusive stuff at her. I can't remember what they were saying, but just the bit where they were following her and like saying stuff, just like, I can relate. I mean like, it's just the fact that like, that still happens today. Like, because like, I sometimes I don't look very feminine or masculine. Sometimes I look like in the middle, like the way that she was looking there. Like it doesn't happen as much because people are more accepting now. But the fact that like, stuff i've never got beaten up because of anything <laughs> like i've never been in a fight like what happened after that like that was like i was sobbing at that but i am scared of that like constantly scared of like somebody punching me because like it would only take it like a step further to when like people like in the street or at school are like mostly at school <laughs> i mean like you know like, how like 13 year old boys can be 13, 14, 15, like in my sort of age range, they're the idiots mostly. But you know, it's adults as well. Like in that film, they're adults. And like, I was like, yes, the fact that like people still do that today, like the fact that we've come so far with like all the surgery and the technology and all the medical understanding, but then there's still those like ignorant, ignorant. Jesse, say the word and then move on to the next one. It's not that hard. Um. All those people who just like feel the need to like say things when they see someone who's different, like that really made me sob. <laughs> like, I don't know, like the fact that it was like happening then to like her, and then it like happens to people now, and it it was emotional for everyone. Yeah, I am just an emotional wreck, aren't I? <laughs> and the one bit, the, <laughs> the other bit that I was sobbing at, it's like the end. Like, what really frustrated me about the end is, like, it ended so sad. And then, like, it just, like, the lights came on in the cinema and, like, everyone saw me in this sort of emotional tears down my face. I was wearing eyeliner. My eyeliner was, like, I looked like I joined the Black Parade. It wasn't nice. Um, yeah. It's the fact that the lights came up and it was, like, pfft, it was intense. <laughs> yeah um but overall this film really it was so good like it was such a good quality film and i think like it's gonna like win awards and stuff i don't know <laughs> what, what do films do when they get good um 
yeah it's like it's gonna should be like mainstream and like loads of people should watch it and i think that's really good for like the representation um because like obviously if, when people watch this like they will understand like how trans people feel and like how emotional it is and like how like you can't really like hide it or like pretend not to be trans or like whatever and like they'll kind of like get the emotions and i feel like if like people see the emotional side of like a trans person's story it will just help with like representation and stuff that would be good that's what we want from this film and also it's an amazing film it's just like good to watch my throats make it stretch up i can't film after i've drank loads of coffee because my body is in like hyper excited mood whatever then <laughs> you know, i've just come back from school as well and i'm like just a bit in a weird mood as you can tell <laughs> I don't, I'm gonna have to edit this now on I cause there's loads of like gaps and just it's like a beautiful film, beautifully filmed, like on fleek and everything and the representation is amazing and also the outfits, can I just talk about all like the outfits, like it's all vintagey, I mean, like, when was it set? <laughs> I should have done more research about this film before I started filming about it, <laughs> like, but when was it set? Because that time period, the outfits are so beautiful, like, that guy, this is going to be an awkward bit, because I don't, that guy who was in that thing, no. <laughs> Jesse, no, shut up. Like, all the outfits, like, just outfit goals on everyone. And the lead guy, who is he? That guy, the lead guy who was in, like, Les Mis and that Stephen Hawkins film. I shouldn't be a film reviewer because I don't know people. <laughs> um, yeah, he is an amazing actor, like like the best actor because i like, felt so much emotion like just when that's like close-ups of him crying i was like oh my god that is like so realistic <laughs> yeah i know like, that's how acting works but he's like such a good actor like i can't even like he's just insanely talented like he has a fandom doesn't he like if people like him i've seen like pictures of him on tumblr and stuff does he have a personality <laughs> I mean, like, it's pretty, but I don't know. I'm not in his fandom. I might get in there, though, if he has a good personality. <laughs> I have to judge people before I join their fandoms, but, uh, yeah, I'm just going to see. I'm, I'm, I'm going to look into more stuff that he's in because he was amazing. Other people complain him because he's, like, a cis guy playing, like, a trans role, like, a trans woman role. I, I don't know, like, I don't really care because, like, it was a good actor and, like, he did it well and he's, like, not taking the mic. And I think, like, acting is just, like, where you pretend to be someone else. Like, that's what acting is. Like, so you don't really have to be, like, the same gender as the person that you're playing. Like, I think that people should, like, play people of different genders all the time because, like, it's just good isn't it like if you can do it if you can play the part well then like do it it doesn't really matter what gender you are so i think people are being a bit silly when they complain about that because you know it's not a problem because he was good at it and that's all that matters <laughs> and um also that guy's in it you know this guy um he's a selling point to um effervescent these in <laughs> um um yeah i just realized that um if i actually did start doing film reviews seriously um i would just be talking about how hot all the actors are like all the time <laughs> good job i'm not a film review uh film reviewer that, that's what they're called <laughs> right so i think that's it overall i would rate this film like 9.5 out of 10 to be honest I mean, like, I'm saving my 10 for something really good. <laughs> okay, so thanks for watching. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.